say, can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the brave it's now my pleasure and privilege to introduce dr cynthia zane the president of philbert college please be seated Thank you, Dr. Holliman. Good afternoon, graduates, Mr. Zemsky, Mr. Hanley, and honored guests. We are fast approaching the point of culmination, presenting 250 undergraduate, degree, undergraduate degrees, and for the very first time in Hilbert's history, 20 master's degrees. What an exciting day. It's truly my favorite day of the year. for me to bid you goodbye and good luck. The Hilbert community has mixed feelings at this moment. We will miss the class of 2013. We will miss your spark and your spirit. And as I know from conversations that many of you are leaving with your own mixed feelings, great excitement intermingled with a touch of anxiety about what your future may hold and a sense of loss as you take leave from your friends, your professors, and the campus. I want to take this moment to publicly acknowledge the faculty and staff who are seated to my left and my right for their role in making this day possible for each of you. Their devotion to your learning and your growth as educated persons has been all giving, and for that, I thank them. persons who are here today to celebrate this momentous occasion are your families and friends, moms, dads, grandparents, children, spouses, and other special friends. So on behalf of all the graduates and all of the Hilbert community, thank you for the support that you have given our graduates during their time at Hilbert College. We sincerely appreciate that you have shared them with us for the period of time they have been at Hilbert. And we've enjoyed them, and we know that they wouldn't be here today were it not for the support that you did gave during their years of time here. My heart is full of many things I want to say to you, laden with meaning and with expectation at this celebratory landmark in your life's journey. I want to tell you how grateful we are for you for who you have been, and for you who you are becoming, for the many talents that you have and that will remain fundamental to your sense of self, a habit of questioning assumptions, avoiding bias and prejudice, and rigidities of thought. You've developed a habit of learning, forever learning, and never give that up. As lifelong learners, we know that you will lead and strengthen the communities where you live, work, and raise your families. The Hilbert College Medal is presented to those who embody Franciscan values, demonstrate excellence in their profession or career, and excellence in community service. 
this year's recipient truly embodies these characteristics. Mr. Vincent O'Hanley is a distinguished member of the Buffalo legal community as a partner in the firm of Jaco, Fleischman, and Mugo, and has received numerous citations and awards for his practice of law, including being noted by Business First in its 2008 edition of Who's Who in Law, and is currently listed in the best lawyers in America. Hilbert College has been especially graced with Vince's expertise and dedication. He served on the Board of Trustees from 2003 to 2012, including two terms as chair. His counsel was particularly valuable in major revisions of the college's bylaws, securing Hilbert's status as a Catholic Franciscan institution and during the recent presidential search and major construction projects on campus. Han uh, Mr. Hanley currently serves on the board of directors of the Catholic Health System Continuing Care Foundation and of the St. Vincent de Paul Society for Buffalo and Western New York. He holds a bachelor's degree from the State University of New York at Oswego and a Juris Doctor degree from the University at Buffalo. In recognition of his service to the college and to our community, the Hilbert College Medal is proudly bestowed upon Mr. Vincent O'Hanley. The idea of community is one of the defining features of Franciscan life. For his commitment and achievements towards building community in the city of Buffalo and in western New York, Mr. Howard Zimsky has been selected by Hilbert College to receive an honorary Doctor of Humane Letters and to offer our commencement address. Howard Zimsky was recently named the region's most effective leader by the Buffalo News, uh, as he's currently serving uh, on the Niagara Frontier Transportation Authority, as well as co-chairing Governor Andrew M. Cuomo's Western New York Economic Development Commission. He's a businessman turned developer whose renovations of a vacant building on Exchange Street, the Larkin Building, is credited with transforming an entire neighborhood. As managing partner of Larkin Development Group, Zimsky is actively redeveloping the Larkin District in Buffalo, or Larkinville, into a mixed-use commercial, residential, and retail district. Zimsky has been chairman of the Niagara Frontier Transportation Authority since March 12. He's managing partner of Taurus Capital Partners since 2001. As I mentioned, he's co-chair of the Western New York Regional Development Council and is president of the Richardson Center Corporation and is currently chair of the Buffalo State College Council. He earned his bachelor's degree from Michigan State University and holds an MBA from the University of Rochester. St. Francis said, start by doing what is necessary, then what is possible, and soon you're doing the impossible. For bringing about what many believed impossible and transforming our community, Hilbert College proudly presents Howard Zimsky, an honorary doctorate of Humane Letters. Howard Zimsky, by virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees and by the Regents of the University of the State of New York, I confer upon you the degree of Doctor of Humane Letters, Honoris Causa, and I invest you with all the rights and privileges pertaining thereunto. In token thereof, I present you with this diploma and ask that Dr. Holloman assist me in vesting you with the hood appropriate to your degree. Congratulations. reception and President Zane for your kind comments. I wish the professor that failed me in statistics could see me today. <laughs> you know, I remember standing where, sitting where you are, graduates. I want to start by congratulating all of you in advance. And I admit I don't remember anything that my commencement speaker said. So I take that to mean one of two things. One, 
I should either be really brief or I should be totally outrageous. <laughs> I don't imagine this is the right venue for a totally outrageous. So when the press office asked what I was going to talk about in advance, I said I'm going to talk about curiosity, humility, community engagement, optimism, and leadership. And that's what I'm going to do. If you are too proud, okay, and you don't have the humility to acknowledge that good ideas come from others, all others, doesn't matter age or income or race, anything. People have great ideas. Many of you have the good fortune of growing up in a circumstance where college was more accessible to you. What I found in my experience in the food business, a lot of people grew up in areas where going to college was not an option. It didn't mean they weren't smart. It just meant they didn't have that opportunity. If you take yourself too seriously, you'll talk too much and listen too little. Make sure you never make the mistake of talking too much and listening too little, or you won't be as successful as you could be. So humility and leadership go together. Be a good listener, be collaborative, be a participant. I want you to earn respect from people because you lead by example and you follow the golden rule. Be humble and open-minded. Without humility, you'll spend too much time talking and not enough time listening and learning. Don't make the mistake of putting people in little boxes. They have more to offer, just like you do. Get involved, keep learning, be curious, and see where it takes you. Plant seeds of your future every day. Do every little thing and big thing well. Make 10,000 good impressions a year. Anything worth doing is worth doing well every single day. It's how you plant seeds for your future. You don't know how it comes back to you. And finally, I want you to have fun. Be human and never underestimate the value of your smile through it all. Thank you. Three candidates, please rise. That's you guys. <laughs> Dr. Zane, on behalf of the faculty, may I present the candidates for the degrees of Master of Public Administration, Master of Science in Criminal Justice Administration, Bachelor of Arts, Bachelor of Science, Associate in Arts, Associate in Science, and Associate in Applied Science. These students have all completed their respective degree requirements. Thank you, Dr. Holloman. By virtue of the power vested in me by the Board of Trustees and by the Regents of the University of the State of New York, and the faculty agreeing thereto, I now confer upon you the degree of Master of Public Administration, Master of Science, Ma Bachelor of Arts, Bachelor of Science, Associate in Arts, Associate in Science, and Associate in Applied Science. We are most pleased to present the degrees and all the privileges and honors pertaining thereunto. Congratulations. <laughs> Now, a very special moment in the life of Hilbert College as we award our first graduate degrees. It's now my pleasure, deep pleasure, to present to you the Hilbert graduating class of 2013.